So today the video that we're going to make is about PSLE math and for this PSLE math video I'm going to just focus on a particular type of heuristic uh, it's going to be before and after so uh, as usual I'm getting all my materials from this book this is the PSLE uh, math uh, examination yearly edition right so we are looking at the 2019 paper if you had taken the PSLE exam last year um, share with us right see how it has been for you. Okay, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So let's take a look. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking at all the before and after questions. Uh, I found three of them. Um, there could be more. I just took like a very quick look, you know. So yeah, I, I, I thought I saw three. So the very first one is actually a multiple choice question. Um, I think it's right here. Okay, yeah. So this is the multiple choice question that I think is related to before and after. Let's take a look and see what it is. Okay, so question number 13. This was last year's. PSLE math, okay? So Singh kept his gold and silver stars in two boxes. The ratio of the number of gold to silver stars in the first box. So uh, I would just draw a box. Okay. So we have first box. So we have gold is to silver. One is to five. And it was one is to two in the second box. So gold is to silver. Uh, 1 is to 2. So the clue here is that the two boxes contain the same number of stars. Now what does this mean? Uh, uh, what type of before and after this is? Uh, I think it is, uh, the first impression is it has got to be a total, total the same. Okay, the total should be the same because they contain the same number of stars. Now in the first box, this is the first box, we have 1 is to 5 which gives us a total of 6. Okay, so in the second box, we have a total of uh, 3. So I want them to be the same. That means I need to combine. Okay, I need to combine or I need to top up this such that the total will be 6. Okay, so this will become, I will multiply by 2. Here, so this becomes 2 is to 4. Alright, so that's 2 is to 4 on the second box. And the uh, first box would still be 1 is to 5 because the total is still... Six. Okay, so what fraction of Singh's stars were gold stars? So we take a look at all the gold. So gold is here, gold is uh, here. Okay, and uh, if you take 1 plus 2, that's 3. Now, what fraction of Singh's stars? No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Singh, you know. Okay, what, what, what's the total number of stars that he have? Is 12, right? So it's 3 out of 12. Uh, and 3 of 12, we can reduce to 1 over 4. So the answer has got to be 1 quarter. Okay, next question. So that solves this. It's a question number 13, so it's actually 2 marks for this particular question. Let's take a look at the next one. Uh, yeah, this one, right? Okay, so at first, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in a chess club was 4 is to 1. So this... This thing, you know, at first, every time I see the word at first, uh, it means it should be some kind of a before and after. So at first, uh, before, before, right, I have uh, 4 is to 1. Boys is to girls. Well, video shaking. 4 is to 1. After 6, boys, 6, girls join. So plus 6, plus 6. Right, the ratio between 3 is to 1. So after uh, it's 3 is to 1. Okay, so the, the percentage of members who are boys increase, decrease, or remain the same. Uh, so this is actually a uh, before and after difference, uh, difference unchanged. Okay, what do you mean by difference and change? Because, you see, both added 6, you know, 6 boys, 6 girls, so the difference uh, shouldn't change, okay? So the ratio at first is 4 is to 1, then you add 6 boys and 6 girls, after that the ratio became 
uh, 3 is to 1 Alright So did the percentage of members who are boys Did the percentage of members who are boys increase, decrease or remain the same? Hmm. So in the end how many boys were there in the club? At first the ratio of the number of boys to girls was 4 is to 1 After 6 boys in the ratio became 3 So what we want to do is to look at the difference Because it's a difference unchanged Okay. So the difference here is uh, 3 That means I take 4 minus 1 right is 3 And the difference here Okay, the difference here is uh, 3, take away 1, so it's 2 I need to make this difference the same Okay, so how do I make the difference the same? I've got to multiply by a uh, common number so that it becomes a common multiple uh, So here times 2, here times 3 Alright, eventually I'm going to get this new set of ratio So everything times 2, I get 8 boys is to girls, right? 8 is to... 2 so plus 6 plus 6 and this side times 3 I get um, 9 is to 3 okay so now the difference is the same so a difference of 6 and the difference of 6 All right so once I found that the difference of uh, 6 6 here uh, immediately I can tell that this one unit difference if I take 8 minus so one unit is equivalent to 6 students All right? and I can actually tell how many students are there at the end so 9 units would be 6 times 9 that's 54 so the last answer is actually 54 All right? so with that information it's actually easier to answer the part A did the percentage of members or boys increase, decrease or remain the same? I mean if you want you can try to calculate okay uh, there's actually a shorter method, but if you if you want to be like really really sure what you're doing, you can calculate. So you take eight. Uh, so at first now here there's fifty four. Uh, at first how many are there? The number of boys. I'm going to use another color. Okay, so the number of boys. If you take six times eight, right, is actually forty eight. So at first there were forty eight. So you plus six becomes fifty four. How about the number of girls? At first there were. Uh, 6 times 2 so that's 12 then after that there are 18 okay so the percentage of members who are boys did it increase decrease or remain the same so at first it's 48 if you take a look at here this is 4 is to 1 okay so uh, percentage of boys will be 4 over 5 right times 100 that will give me 80% so I have 80% at first then how about after so after that it became 3 and 1 so that's 3 out of 4 times 100 it became 75% so the answer is it decreased alright so it decreased okay we're now back to the uh, th we're now back to the last question so because I only saw three questions right related to before and after so the last one is over here so this is a um, from some only three marks right so it's not too bad okay let's take a look at this question uh, so a box contains black beads and white beads it's always a box uh. yeah ooh ooh Okay, so it's always a box. Oh, later. Okay, so a box contains black beads and white beads. So let's draw a box. Um, I got pretty good at drawing boxes after doing all maths problem sums. <laughs> okay, so at first the number of black was one third the number of white. So black is to white. At first one is to three. After one quarter of the black and 3 out of the 8 were used, 63 beads were left. Alrighty, so I'm going to draw slightly bigger. Okay. Yeah. So, one third of the number of, uh, at first the number of black was one. Okay, so after one quarter of the black beads, so if I take a look at this, right, this, 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 this thing, you know, it's, it shows one. So, not very useful, right? Because I want to remove one quarter, so I bump it up to a bigger number. Let's, let's use a bigger number So black is to white 
I want to remove one quarter, so let's put at first four. Now, if at first there's four, uh, the number of white would be three times a quarter would be twelve. Okay, one quarter of the black beads and three out of eight were used. Okay, so I uh, minus one, so left three, and then that well for the white color it's three out of eight. So you know I have twelve here is a bit harder, so I just take three eight times twelve. Now at this point, this is a paper two. You get to use your calculator. So, well, you can just divide it by two. Divide by four is two. Uh, this can so it's three, All right? So it's four point five units. Okay, so take away four point five u, and it's seven point five. Okay, we left seven point five units. So the question is, there were sixty three bits left. So for this 63 bits, right, how many units is it? It's a 3 plus 7.5 that will give me 10.5 unit represent 63. Okay, now if 10.5 units represent 63, uh, I want to find one unit. One unit represents how much? 10. 3 divided by 10.5 oh, 6 So 1 unit is 6 That sort of solves the entire question Okay So Yeah I, I, I'm almost like solving the whole thing So if 1 unit is 6 uh, How many bits were there in the box at first? Uh, 16 units So 6 times 16 96 bits And uh, Yeah that's part B so we saw B, you see? Oh. So what fraction of the bits were used? Um, we gotta look at this one, huh? Here and here. Okay, what fraction of the bits were used? I used a total of I used a total of five and a half units. Right? So at first there were sixteen units. Uh yeah, so in fractions you cannot have decimals, so what do we do? We pump it up to 11 times 2, so this is 32, right? So the fraction will be, uh, for part A, yeah, so it's uh, 11 over 32. That's it. Okay? So, anyway, um, yeah, these are all the before and after questions that I can find in the 2019's PSLE. Um, so what we do here is we have a lot of videos that's prepared for you. They are all in learning units in the group. So what you have to do is you got to join our group. Join the group, okay? So it's in the link somewhere, right? We'll put the link somewhere so you can click and join the group. So what I do is I try to compile all before and after circles, uh, speed, like this, here, yeah, all that stuff to learning units, okay? Something new in Facebook, learning units. So if you want to learn speed, just go and click the speed stuff. You want to learn about, uh, you know how we solve advanced circle. I just want to click the advanced circle stuff. It's still work in progress, okay? So we got someone uh, to help us do all these things, okay? And all I have to do is to keep making videos, all right? Hope you enjoyed today's uh, episode. It's a shorter version of what we did last time, but I think it's pretty useful. All right, thanks for watching.